that's what happened when you sleep late and wake up a little bit late welcome back everyone I warmed up a little bit before I came and we we I I you you just replace the drag <coughs> the mouse release position or the mouse track position with the current position to calculate actually to check if the mouse has been released on the bag menu component because the drag position or release position sorry is relative to where the mouse started and it's used to determine where the item should uh, fall so I came here to remove this sentence actually completely remove it let me show you the last result let me pop out the chat maybe the god will send someone today to say hi and at the end I don't notice him even with the chat on the other screen it's as huge as this So, because the position is relative, when I drag this item and release it in here, it will know where it's dropped at 6.3. So if I drop it here, it knows it says 1.0, even though I want it to be at 0, zero. but... Uh, maybe the math thing that I added at the end screwed it up. What the hell? Just before I started this video, it was easy to calculate it. Well, I used it to round even to, and the result was much better actually. But it seems not much better when it's a little bit on, yeah, on the right side, but better when it's on the left side. Anyway. Because the calculation is based on the relative, where did I start? It's possible with the formula or with the... Oh, wow. I used to have this problem before. And now it is back. Alright. Sorry about that. That's what happened when the, the window is too small. Some of the calculation. I might scoot up as well. I mean, look at that. If the window is here, yeah, if it is there, that's game over. No idea. To be honest, no idea why it behaved like that. I need to check it out. As if there's a... M Hmm. Anyway, if there's a magnetic field in here or something, if it just cross it, there's no way to return it back. Oh, now it's oh, maybe because uh, I was releasing on another window. No, nope. It's game over again. All right. So, because the calculation is relative, when I drag it and release it here, it will give me negative values, even though it should not be, because it's relative to this guy. So, my theory is... Oh, yeah, I didn't calculate the function anyway, whatever. Uh, Anyhow, I will try to calculate the thing based on the current. 
uh, mouse position which is taken from the control manager instead so let's do that so here Come on, it should be correct. Oh, yeah. And we will see how horrible our mistakes are in a few seconds. After drinking some coffee, uh. so let's test it on the place where it should work. So, and uh, this should be, for example, be zero um, one. Uh oh. Hmm. Let me make the screen as big as possible. Oh, I, I love you sometimes. I really, really love you. Oh, I removed it. I removed the full screen thing. <sighs> Let's test it when it's as far as possible. Yeah, th there is something off in the calculation. I mean, this is obviously should not be downward by one and one. <coughs> so this is the current V. Maybe I should um, Hmm, do you think it's because the back position was not correct? Alright. So the back relatively start at 2-2. Two, two. And it print at Yeah, there's no addition Which is The correct behavior I wanted to To be What's going on here? Guess I'm still sleeping because I have no clue what the hell is this code for or what part is it? But this is not our issue. The issue is we are trying 
to figure out if this calculation accurate or not. So let's uh, print setgr, which is the position of the bank. I love you very much. Maybe round to even was a big mistake. It sounded good for a while, but now I don't believe in it. Look at that. This is ridiculous. Both of you are ridiculous. Let me look at that. 2.6 and 6. it advanced to by 1. Hmm, do you know what? I don't want to curse in the morning, but how about to take the floor? I really don't want to curse in the morning. The problem with the floor is, yeah, even the floor might not work. No, the floor should work perfectly. Yeah, let's try to take the floor. Uh, first of all, before I regret it, let's copy this line. I can move this one. What's going on? Crap, what the f okay, calm down. Um, shouldn't this one return on integer?
Actually, these are not needed. I will hate myself soon, no worries. Just double sure. Oh wow, look at that. Where is the um, over 20? It was there. All right. Actually, I believe this is exactly how I want it to be. Maybe because I'm a programmer and I usually always uh, imagine the center to be on the corner left right. I mean, uh, maybe a normal user will try to put it here and put it here. Oh wait, it didn't, hmm. Why it didn't work? I mean, if you put it in the corner here, because the floor, it should be here, not there. Yeah, uh, for me, this is perfect, <clears throat> but I'm not sure about the other users because they are not programmers, they don't know where the corner. So when I wanna put an item here, I won't put it here and think it will be here. And um, even if I put it like here, I know it won't be here because it's one pixel below so it will go mo oh it should be go here why x is 2 2 weird did I lose my sight hmm What the f uh, no idea as usual um Oh, it's not based on the drawing. It's based on the mouse. Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. It should be based on the drawing, not the mouse. But I worked hard to make the weapon get tracked exactly where the mouse is holding. You see? So we need to shift the values. Give me a second. How did I do that? Wait. This guy doesn't print its own shadow? then these guys should hmm. This guy is still using the drag position. 
But what if the what is this guy? Tire position next to Where am I assigning its value? Damn it, it should be on the click. Okay, I'm too lazy. Just search. So it is a uh, drag from. What the hell? I was looking for mass two position. Whatever. Okay, 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 okay. But this is drag from no. Yeah, I believe this is the value. So I don't need to use it from here. Alright, alright, alright. Um, do I think, do you think, do we think we need I really need to be patient sometime because someday I'll just explode. Well, this is the bag. Let's use this idiot before I lose my patience. I don't know if it is minus or plus to be honest. Uh, that's why we are going to do it so the drag from is fucking zero not anymore
So I see it depends on where did I start dragging it from. And now the floors look a little bit ugly because it's you see it started from here and if it is only few milli pixels or pixels milli pixels did you hear that milli pixels Allah swat Ahmed milli pixels coat uh, even if it is like few pixels from the floor like this it's considered back because it's a floor <sighs> and that's why we coated this one Recalculation, everyone. Recalculation for free. Recalculation for blood. Let's give it another test. Of course, I must click on the stupid menu before I can start back. I believe it's much better. I'm trying to drag it from different angles and see if it works. I believe this is much, much better. Boy. a different bag yeah it's working all right uh, the only reason that you don't see the objects in there is because I didn't program moving an item from one bag to another because it's more complicated than moving it from the same uh, bag Because in here, we um, only need two points, and we know the bags, which item is there, and from where, and everything. But from here... This point is from the different bag. And we need to check and delete the item of smooth from here and add it here. The coffee is so cold. I mean, so warm. It's not hot. It ha it's not hot. Yeah, it's not hot. It's not cold. And oh god, it's just bleh. That's what happened when you try to drink a coffee that you brewed forty minutes ago. All right, so as I said, even though it's the same class 
that issued a command but we are moving the items even if it is from the same class but they are, it's from different objects that's why I created a reference called back from and if the back from is the same the bag this object then we move it internally the item if not we will try to move it like that by doing a different calculation so to be honest I don't remember calculations that I made a year ago or around yeah the back class has been I don't know you can return to my old videos and see maybe less than a year no actually the class was more than a year but this function I believe much less so we need to do some kind of calculations in here similar to we need to copy and paste but carefully for example what the hell is this i have no clue so let's go and check Oh, this return the item of the point okay with its key its position as well wonder why so checking the the, the bag and everything It used to be only the item, but later on I, I remember that. I even confused myself a lot when I was doing this. Why did I need the position? I don't know. Or both, I mean. Maybe to get the size of the item, it's important to know the size too. So definitely we need this too, but this one, should be taken from the back from. Definitely. We need to know the item and its position from that back. Here, as I said, we check the size. And I believe greater than zero means taken. Why this code is um, I don't know what the hell is there a loop or was there a loop? I still don't get it. This one return 
the uh, item and then get item size should return uh, the blocks the three blocks of the sword in our case and then I check from B I don't get it What's bothering me, we are not checking the the bag, we are checking the item. You know what? I don't get it at all. Let's debug it. Let's debug the debugger, 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 debugger. So we are going to move it only one one. <coughs> so the item was from zero zero. And this guy say one zero. So we are not placing the item outside of the bank, minus one. And this item is not placed on the same position. That's what this means. So I can copy this one safely. Uh, wait, not this condition in the in there, because it's the same position but a different bag. Then move it, no problem. But this guy, what the hell is going on? As I said, the item size is, I cannot find it, not mistaken, is the array, the, the, the shape of the item. Ah, yeah, I need to go to um, as item or item data. Not this one. Calm down. This is starting to bugs me a little bit. Calm down. Nope, it doesn't return me to the weapon. Okay, and I cannot open the weapon here. <coughs> zero, zero, 
and one zero and zero so it's one zero uh, Okay, so the last was the last one called is taken. So we are saying that is taken is false. Are you telling me? Okay, okay, okay. I, get, I finally got it, but in the same time, I kind of don't get it. This one says, if the item is solid. Yeah, stop everything. I'm getting sick of this. My own code is, is, is just a shame. I forgot some of the parts of it. Not the weapon blueprint, the weapon object, please. Figured. It won't be that easy. Not fucking yet. Yeah, that item. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I don't want to replace. Uh, oh boy. This into property. All of a sudden. Because that will screw me big time, won't it? Yeah, I, I will need to replace like 1200,000 position but I'm sure it is an array of one three and the value on it is one 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 because we can see the value here if I go to the items and go to the crap it's a weapon Oh yeah, I changed this into here. Oh yeah, now I remember uh, something. I was wondering about some part of the code and then I remembered. Actually the same weapon can have more than one item to it. Uh, like imagine in Diablo or any ARPG where the same weapon can have different Reality, different stats, different skills, but exactly behave the same thing. Well, yeah, it's possible in here. So when we go to the shape, you see this is what's the item size. It's an array of three, three and one. Sorry, not one and three. I said one and three. And actually, I can even show how it looks like in here, because we can change its um, its image in the bag different than the image in here in the map but i decided to, because i'm too lazy for testing purposes to put it the same anyway what bothers me the most is i don't understand what's this condition for why am i checking the set x minus set x of ik i i don't get this part Oh, are you telling me this is the relative check? Alright, alright, alright. 
So if I drag it from here to here, IK will be still zero, 0, damn it. From V still one zero. I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. Ten four. Twelve four. Yeah, this one it seems where I'm dragging the mouse from. Because I drag it from the far right. It was twelve, not ten. But once again. I don't care what I did a goal. Why am I checking the first one? I don't fucking get it. I mean if the first one is empty or not solid. Is there a for loop? It should check the rest or what? So if this one is is false, actually I have an item that has an empty uh, top. Say hello to gate core. Actually, while we are at it, let's add a mid um, back. Yeah, the mid back is as big as the git core. All right. Whatever. Getting stuck for 20 minutes. On one line of code, welcome to reality check. And I'm getting sleepy and angry at the same time. Replace the file in the destination. Let's, oh yeah, it's closed. Uh, do I need to change anything else? No. <coughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Yesterday I fixed the... Did I record myself? Maybe. I fixed the collision with everything. So, oh wait, this guy, the first object is still solid, damn it. Do you know what? Maybe checking if I clicked on something. Yeah, I believe that's the code. You see, it's empty in here. If I click on it, it should detect. Oh, I'm clicking on this guy. But hey, the position of the mouse. Is it empty like here? Here. That's the code. Damn. <clears throat> if I place this comment when I made this code, I won't spend like 25 or 20 minutes trying to figure out what the hell is going on. If I did that, I just realized it. Let me show you something. I, I placed the mid 
uh, mid 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 back. I was going to say mid kit. Is it mid kit or mid back or both? For a reason. You see. Oh yeah, All right. Fuck off. This guy is empty in the middle, so I can drag this and put it here. Ta da! Even though it doesn't look as I remember, I remember it was in the center, but oh well. Because this item is actually have some, uh, I remember the way it fit, yeah, I mean, in the drawing much better than this. What the hell happened? But oh well. And it's empty in here as well. So this is what this line mean. Do I care about that in here? But wait. If that line would this mean, why does it exist in this code? Let me uh, test something. Because I, as you can see, the dragging didn't even start when I clicked on there. I guess this code is useless. Because the dragging won't start at all if I didn't click, if I clicked on an empty area. It's almost like checking a statement that's always true. Oh boy, I will keep it like this till I discover that I need it or not, or if it crash or not, or whatever. Maybe just an attempt to prevent crashing. Why I'm setting the back slots to be not taken? Let's try something else. Maybe uh, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe it was. Let me... I believe I destroyed everything in the world. Oh, fuck off. Uh, hopefully it wasn't the... <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's... Let's try again. What happen if I return that condition? Now programming became science because my code is based on observation. See? Yeah. 
I'm getting tired of all of this trash. I'm sorry. Let me call it a break and see you next.